Number 72, letter A. What is the hot resistance of a 25 watt light bulb that runs on 120 volt uh, alternating current? So basically they gave us the power, that's gonna be equal to 25 watts. They gave us the voltage, that's gonna be equal to 120 volts. And they're asking us for the resistance. So we gotta find a formula that relates them. And it's gonna be the power is equal to voltage squared divided by resistance. Simply cross multiply this, right? I mean, this is straightforward now, hopefully at this point. And then the voltage is 120 squared divided then by the power of 25. So resistance will be equal to 120 squared divided by 25, about 576. So 576 ohms. All right. Uh, that is a high amount of uh, resistance. Uh, that's why it burns brightly. So uh, letter B, if the bulb's operating temperature is 2700 degrees Celsius, uh, what is its resistance at 2600? So um, basically, they didn't tell us what the bulb is made out of, right? So uh, it's, you're left up to your own devices. Usually it's made out of tungsten, so I'm going to use the value of tungsten, all right? The alpha value. So we have our formula that I like to call this RF will equal RI times 1 plus the alpha value uh, multiplied by the change in temperature. So it just depends on how you phrase it. It says if the bulb's operating temperature is uh, 2700 degrees Celsius, what is its resistance at 2600? In other words, this resistance that they're, that we just calculated is at 2700 degrees Celsius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that my initial resistance. And then the other one is going to be my, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'll call that my initial resistance. And what we're going to solve for is the final resistance. So the initial then is going to be the 576 multiplied by one plus my alpha of 4.5 times 10 to the minus three, that's just looked up. And now what we need to do is we gotta plug in the change in temperature. Remember, temperature change is always final minus initial. So the final temperature here, how I'm framing it is the 2600. The initial then is 2700 and just bada bing bada boom, take out that calculator and go to town. So 576 multiplied then by parenthesis one plus 4.5 times 10 to the minus three, multiplied by essentially negative 100. And we get a value of 316 or 317. All right, considering I guess maybe sig figs, who knows? There you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. I'll see you soon.